St. John's was one of the two major neighborhoods left in Portland that didn't have a farmer's market. Okay, now would you please tell us your name? Simone Streeter. And what was the name of your organization? We're called the St. John's Farmer's Market, or the group of us are the friends of the St. John's Farmer's Market. And what year did St. John's Farmer's Market secure funding for your, uh, for your market? We got the small grant in 2009, so about a year, a year ago exactly. And then uh, would you tell us a little bit about St. John's Farmer's Market and how the grant from the Office of Neighborhood Involvement helped with the market? Sure. Um, I, according to my understanding, St. John's was one of the two major neighborhoods left in Portland that didn't have a farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And I have since found out that the neighborhood has wanted a farmer's market for at least 10 years. I ended up going to the Interstate Farmer's Market Board meeting where I found out about uh, the North Portland Neighborhood Services Office or North Portland Community Works. And they are both um, sponsored by the Office of Neighborhood Involvement. The director of North Portland Community Works um, explained to me how they were a fiscal sponsor for this market and I realized that that would work for us. And the first thing he recommended was that we apply for this grant. We specifically, um, for the North Portland Small Grants Program, I received $2,500. It was suggested by, um, by the director uh, that we consider spending it to hire a vendor recruiter. So we talked to the founders of the Hollywood Farmers Market, for example, and some other market managers, and it was stressed to us that it was the most important thing was to have a solid lineup of farmers and, and, and farm product vendors. And so we hired a woman who had experience with farmers markets um, and put her in charge of creating a pool for us to select from. And so it resulted in the lineup of vendors that really um, kind of showed the community and showed the city that it was a real farmer's market. The Oregonian, actually the Food Day editor for the Oregonian, commented on our stellar vendor lineup, which is a pretty big deal. So that, and that was all paid for initially by that, by the um, grant money, and they gave us also the confidence to apply for more grants. How did the market end up actually building community? Oh, there's so many examples. Um, well, it's in the center of our neighborhood. The site that we selected is essentially the old, the old downtown of St. John's when it was a, its independent town. The visibility um, attracted so many different people and the, the happiness that it created in the neighborhood and the sense of possibility um, brought in so many different people. So we're, we're partnering with t half a dozen or ten, maybe ten different neighborhood groups right now. And you've been able to find new funding and resources so that you can continue the farmer's market for future years as a result of the grant funding you initially received? It looks like that in this second year we may actually be um, financially sustainable. We now have gotten some pretty good uh, business sponsorships from some pretty large businesses that are, that are up here along the river in St. John's. We're hoping that our, the fees that we get from the vendor booths will pay the salary of our one employee who is um, the market manager. Would you have been able to start the farmer's market without the funding from the small grants program? I don't think so. I, I, I'm not sure what would have happened had we taken it upon ourselves to try to go out and recruit uh, the vendors that we did. And so without that seed which created the market which now has a huge root system all over the community in only one year um, I, I think I think it would have been if we had it it would have been a pretty weak effort and I don't know if it would have galvanized the neighborhood like it has people were not only really happy but they were shocked that something like this could have happened seemingly overnight in their neighborhood where they had wanted it for so many years. So many people said, finally. It was like a real gift.